Well, good afternoon and welcome to the Idahoan Show. Here I have a piece of rifled DOM tubing. Uh, it's half inch inner diameter or 50 caliber. And I've used this stuff successfully to make muzzle loader barrels in the past, but I was noticing that a 410 shot shell actually fits in there about right. A little bit loose maybe, but really not too bad. So that got me wondering if I could make kind of an unusual hybrid between a center fire and a muzzle loader, where you know I take this uh, barrel and just cut some threads on it so I can use it in my Utah pistol and leave both ends of the bore open as it is, and then I could either fire a 410 shot shell or I could uh, load a 50 caliber round ball or other muzzle loader projectile manually, add some black powder, and then use an empty 410 shell that I've reprimed uh, as my ignition source. So I figure we'll give it a try and see what happens. Okay, so I took this barrel and I cleaned up the one end where there was that uh, clamping groove, cut some threads on the other end, and for good measure went ahead and mounted a sight on it. So now we can put it in the Utah pistol, and as soon as the wind calms down enough that we can film outside without an egregious amount of wind noise, we will take this out and test fire it. Okay, so shooting standard 410 shot shells with number 8 shot, I started out at a range of 1 yard or 3 feet, and it was patterning about like that. Uh, when I moved out to 2 yards or 6 feet, the pattern opened up to about that size. When I moved out to 3 yards or 9 feet, it opened up to about the size of this whole uh, log section, which I guess is about 16 inches in diameter. 
I, I continued backing up to 5 yards, 10 yards, and then 15 yards. At 5 and 10 yards, you know, the pattern density obviously was pretty low, but I was still uh, knocking over the uh, log section. At 15 yards, uh, I wasn't even able to knock over the section, and, you know, from the dust that was being kicked up, I could tell the, the shot was really scattering all over the place. So... Clearly, uh, a 410 shot shell fired out of this Utah barrel doesn't have a lot of effective range. Just out of curiosity, let's try the number 8 shot on a milk jug at 10 yards. Let's see, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8... Uh, probably eight to ten pellets on the target. Uh, that water in the jug was partially frozen, so it's only leaking just a little bit. If it was all liquid, it'd be leaking a little bit faster, but clearly not a whole lot of damage. Now let's move a little closer and see if we can do a little better. So moving up to about two yards, clearly that did a lot more damage. At this point, I think we've established that the concept of using 410 shot shells in a through-board 50 caliber barrel with the Utah pistol is viable, but the performance of typical 410 shot shells in this gun is limited to very close range applications. So now let's try loading it with round balls and see how the hybrid characteristics of the design work out. So taking a close look at the spent cases from our testing so far, I notice that they've obviously stretched a little bit. Uh, and in fact, we have an imprint of the rifling stamped into the sides of the case. The plastic, for the most part, seems to be intact. It was able to stretch enough uh, without splitting to fill the chamber. The brass in a lot of cases did split down here at the base. Um, so this is certainly non-ideal. It's not all that surprising given that it was a little bit of a loose fit, but I think we can still make this work. Now, I don't actually have equipment to reload 410 shot shells, but what I do have is a rubber mallet, a punch, and this little piece of scrap steel that I drilled a hole through, which is about the right size to accommodate a 410 shot shell. So what I'm going to do here is first use the punch to knock out the spent primer. Now we turn the shell around. Put a live primer on here and tap that in place. Now I'm actually going to meter out some black powder into each of these cases, uh, cap it with a little bit of wadding and actually a little bit of uh, lubrication, and then in use we'll just have to push a projectile into the barrel, put the cartridge in behind it and we should be ready to go. Okay, so let's take some shots at 25 yards and see what kind of accuracy this gun is capable of with a 50 caliber round ball and some of our reprocessed uh, black powder 410 cartridges.
So out of five shots, we only had two holes in the target. Uh, that third one up in the corner actually was from a previous test, so that's not even part of this group. So what does that mean? Does it mean the barrel just doesn't shoot well? Uh, does it mean that after the first two shots I managed to knock the sight base out of alignment and that changed the aim point enough to throw all the other tar uh, shots off target completely? Uh, does it mean the recoil broke this cheap red dot? Does it mean that I started flinching and you know missed the target because of shooter error? Uh, or is there something about our you know remanufactured black powder 410 cartridges behind a round ball that makes that load intrinsically less accurate than a traditional muzzle-loaded round ball in a similar configuration? It's hard to say, and it would probably take me a lot of work to diagnose exactly what the problem is. Um, so, for today, I think I'm going to take a couple more shots at milk jugs at close range just to see what it'll do, and then call it a day. My overall conclusions for this project are that, yes, it's possible to fire a 410 shotgun shell out of a 50 caliber Utah barrel, but there's not necessarily a good reason to do so. Uh, the shot shells in their standard configuration work, but they're only effective within a couple yards of the target because the shot just spreads out so fast. Meanwhile, if we manually load a round ball or other muzzle loader projectile and then put a, a cartridge with black powder in it behind the projectile, for whatever reason, we aren't getting the same kind of accuracy that I've gotten out of similar barrels on this gun uh, using a traditional muzzle-loading uh, practice. So, if I figure out what was causing the uh, degradation of accuracy, I'll probably let you know about it in a future video, but until next time, thanks for watching The Idaho Owen Show.